Hey, uh, this is a pretty interesting issue I found on a routine maintenance. I was doing a combustion analysis and getting over a thousand parts per million on the CO. This is definitely something I've been noticing in the field lately with the um, ICP furnace burner alignment issues uh, causing uh, an impingement going into the heat exchanger inlet. This is one of the main reasons why I do recommend doing combustion analysis when possible. I mean, it's not really that difficult, probably easier than, um, you know, gauging up on a refrigeration circuit. So all you're doing is basically putting a hole in the, uh, in the flue pipe and, you know, letting it run. So you could definitely come across pretty vital issues that you're, you're not going to be able to tell or see otherwise. Uh, for this situation, I was able to remedy the issue just by tinkering with the assembly, burner assembly a bit. But normally I would uh, recommend actually replacing the burner assembly. But yeah, I explained the issue to the customer and let him know the situation and he was happy. So this wound up being a happy ending after all. So let me know what you guys think and thanks for watching. All right, welcome back, gang. All right, so I wanted to show you something really interesting. I have my um, combustion analyzer in here and um, I'm getting about 960 parts. It was up to about 1,030 parts per million a second ago. You can see it's rising, creeping back up again here. So um, I wanted to go ahead and inspect the burner. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see how the flame is actually scorching the top of the actual um, orifice there. Okay, and you notice how the, the flame is actually pointing up. It's actually pointing up a little bit, tilted up. So that right there will cause um, incomplete combustion. So what I did to, to verify that, as you can see it's back up to 1,050 parts per million. What I did is um, put a little bit of pressure on this manifold, right? So just push forward on it, the whole gas valve the manifold. As you can see, I'm tilting that flame down, right? So watch what happens. Look how rapidly our CO is dying down. Okay. I'm just literally just holding this gas out like such. This isn't even proper. So I'm going to see if I can reorientate this thing. And uh, get this thing back right. It's going to start climbing again. Yep. So now it's back. Without tilting it, it's going back up. And like I said before, this is just due to these orifices. Are improperly seated. Let me see if I can take this screw out here. Oh yeah, there it goes. So look at that flame, how much better that is. So you're just going to see that CO drop rapidly. I mean, insane. You can see the, the tips of the flames are now going directly into the orifices. Maybe. That was, okay, that was definitely cocked out a little bit there, out of place. And a lot of times what this will do as well, this will cause issues with um, uh, limits, tripping limits. Because essentially that flame is actually touching the roof of that heat exchanger tubing and um, it'll cause the actual, the surface to be so hot, the radiant, the top of the heat exchanger, the uh, surface of it will radiate and cause this limit here to overheat. I've definitely seen that before as well. So 
lot, a lot better on some of them, but it's still an issue. That one looks really bad there still. I was curious. I'm going to test it real quick. Let's check and see what our undiluted is. Yeah, it's still rising pretty rapidly. A lot better. But that one is still a big issue. Let's see where it stops at. If it got any better. Doesn't look like it did. Nope. No good. As you can see. Let me go ahead and pop this out. We're getting there. starts up. It's a whole lot better. That heat exchanger might be compromised. You can see the flame does start to ruffle. how many parts per million we get now so yeah we got it around stabilized around 190 93 point uh, parts per million and uh, I'm pretty satisfied with that I'm gonna see if I can get it a little bit better but yeah this is just pretty much what you get with um, these types of things you can see the flame looks a whole lot better so, so what I'm gonna do as well I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check this gas pressure it might actually need to be adjusted. The RXS Air. Don't get me wrong, it's not hot, not low or anything, but 50% is kind of, it's perfect. But I'm used to seeing a little higher excess Air. Especially with, I mean, it's not a very long or complex flu, flu run, so. It's a pretty straight shot. So a lot of times those will be running higher excess Air just because of the amount of air the inducer motor is um, able to um, exhaust. So we got an undiluted of 176 parts per million stable. And I'm gonna see if I can take the gas pressure down and get that even better. Let's go ahead and um, stop that. That's the inlet there. That's our manifold pressure. Feeling it's gonna be a little high. It sounds kind of high. Gas pressure, that is. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and take that down to about 3.2.
And uh, I know we can, should be clocking the meter and this and that, but <clears throat> this will allow me 3 .2, between 3.2 and 3.8. And as long as I've got enough excess air to support that, I'm going to go for being on 3.2. So we have 170. Let's see what our undiluted is now. 3.2 exactly. It's not going to be impinging as much as well. Oh yeah, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Now that's ideal. Perfect. We've got it right at 3.24, so I'm not complaining one bit about that. Yeah, we just had to kind of finagle it, finesse it, and under 100 parts per million. Let's take a look at our excess air. Perfect. 70%, 68%, 70%. That's fine for me. Between 50 and 70% on the piece. Alright, so yeah. CO2, 7.6. Under the CO, 90 parts per million still. CO, 54. 67% excess air. O2, nice. Stack temp, it's decent. Perfect. That's great. Let's take a look at that flame again. Looking good. Looking straight shot. Underneath. Only reason I'm getting these yellow flakes and stuff is because this is not perfectly sealed here. That's fine. Um, we've got oxygen 8%, which is great. Undiluted CO 104, that's fine. CO 64, efficiency. That's good, man. I can work with that perfectly. Yeah, that should do it, gang. Uh, let me know what you think. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.